Uh, are they starting? Are they starting? Do they know they can start? Uh, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, we're getting it right now. Peko versus Vivi, this is what I like to see. Yeah, and right off the bat, Vivi already gets a bounce, and Peko's having trouble picking up the banana. That's but it. We, we lost our neutral already. <laughs> From round start, bounce, can't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Hey, I'm a liar. 36% on board already for Peko. Yeah, and, and I'm liking how uh, Peko's just whiff punching Vivi, right? Vivi thinking he's going to fish for a grab. I mean, one Diddy Kong spinning at you like that, it's a little difficult to grab him. Mm. I just got to say that much. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, and another bounce. I like how Peko threw the banana backwards, expecting like it's a bounce and set him up. Because, you know, that happens from time to time. Because nonetheless, like if you get your banana bounce back at you, it's like, oh, it goes from your setup to now Vivi's setup. You, you don't want that. So just get rid of it. Throw it out. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And that's going to be like you know pretty important for Vivi in this matchup. Getting bounced and trying to farm it a little bit, right, while uh, Peko's trying to set up his traps. But right now, Peko is doing a great job just whiff punching Vivi. And Vivi hasn't been able to get any offense started, really. Yeah, and it's kind of difficult to, like, especially, like, right now, Peko's movements have been so impeccable. Uh, in impeccable? <laughs> impeccable. Uh, 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 please. Can we? I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. Yeah, and, um, yeah, so, yeah, right now, and, you know, Peko's not even worried about the no banana setups, and, because right now, he's just pl been playing <gasps> no banana Diddy pretty much this whole first dock, and you died. No, oh, oh wow. this is the F tilt there. Yeah. I was thinking that Peko might run off stage and down air, but, you know, or like doesn't want to risk it. Or or something. Yeah, no. No more resources. Yeah, no MP. Only three on deck there for VB. And not to mention, like, Hero has an easier time getting zoom whenever they're in the magnifying glass and, like, the outskirts of the blast zone. But because VB fell straight down like that, zoom just wasn't available. At least not as readily as it normally would be, you know? Yeah, and I have to say, that was a great stuff by um, Peko not overreacting to VB jumping at him. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people in that situation jump and get sniped by the VB forward air and you lose your stock. Oh, yeah. And right here, staying on top of the platforms, avoiding the sizzle, that's something that's going to be very, like, very important for this matchup. Only because it's like... For a hero, a lot of his spells hit horizontally and quick. So it's like the utilization of platforms and getting back here like that is unfortunate. That's kind of crazy. And I was, I was just I was just with the comment on uh, Peko's utilization of dash attack, right? Yes. We're missing a lot of dash dash attack with punishing VV for throwing out, you know, some of these careless aerials just in neutral trying to keep Diddy at bay. But like, oh my god, converted into a forward smash? No, but you're right though, because that move is so active too. And I want to say a lot of heroes like normals don't really, uh, they don't come out too fast. Oh yeah, no, not at all. Like outside of jab, so you're not. That's like frame five, right? Oh yeah, frame five. Something like that. Ooh, ah, that forward air, chopping him in half. Yeah, and VB's brought this back a little bit, but I feel like. Oh. Yeah, that hurts. That the, definitely hurts. The damage is, it's coming. It's coming. This is what hero does. Oh, nice hold on the F smash. So, like, that's another thing that I usually see Vivi uh, <laughs> do that makes this character so evil is the fact that you you just stack installs. You got your oomph, you got your accelerato. What? what? Talking about stacking installs, look. Evil. Uh, evil. Insane. And now Vivi, Vivi's in kill mode. Uh, An up throw would kill, definitely. Oh, or forward air. It doesn't matter. That was crazy. Vivi got um, bounce at the perfect time, stopping Peko's barrel setups. And, oh, that's great patience. But Vivi does not care. Mashing out a disadvantage with down tilt, and you know Peko is a uh, you know has a little bit of a mountain to climb right now because Vivi's not going to go without a fight. No, not at all. I mean, you kind of can't see her. Oh my God! No, no way! That must have been a miss input because I predicted an up smash after that. But getting the dash attack that that sucks. That yeah, sucks. It, it was a bit of a miss input, and I feel like he just didn't believe that uh, Vivi was going to get hit. Yeah. And now we're in a situation where you just use the air dodge, and we're. I thought he was going to go for the down air. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought that too. That's why I got so quiet like that. I'm like, huh. Oh my god, this bounce. Turned into the, the thinking emoji right there. I'm like, oh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he air dodged into the platform. Oh god. And, and you, know, you know what's really annoying about that, right? We saw Vivi at 152%. And now, we've been talking about Vivi continuously getting bounce. Even though Peko is playing really well with, um, with punishing Vivi, mm -hmm. I don't think he could take a stock early just because of the fact you don't have banana. And that's probably Diddy's equalizer as a character, right? The the, the item play and the banana play. Thundercats. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Bars. I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off. No, 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 no. But, yeah, no. I mean, that no, that air dodge. That, that air dodge up smash was just, like disgusting. That was, that, was, that was nice. That was nice. See, what I like to call that platform, especially when it's small battlefield, that's the dinner plate. Because mm. if you're on there, oh, man, that's it. 
That's it. Your life is over, man. Oh, yeah. It's, it's put on the gravy. Put on the gravy, yeah, man. The, yo, sword cat just be swinging in the pot. Oh, boy, do they. To like dinner plates? Uh, you're right, right up smash. I was going to say, even Roy be eating <laughs> off of that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Roy has a turn, butter turn, knife. Turn into hot pot, bro. Are you kidding me? That's insane. <laughs> all right. now. Uh, all right. So now uh, we're going to Hollow Bastion. And oof, yeah, I, I, I feel like Peko needs to try to take some of these stocks early, right? Yeah. Like. While while VV is trying to roll roll for bounce, I feel like Peko needs to kind of close distance a little bit, right? Even though he's been whiff punishing a lot, I think one thing he needs to do is kind of just stay at a distance where VV has to respect and not want to try to fish for rolls all the time. Yeah, but even though it's like you can keep the distance properly, but at the same time, again, you have to watch out for the really fast spells like Sizzle and Sizz. Like even Sizz is not as fast as Sizzle, but it's still mm. a really fast move, does damage. Oh my god, nice setup yeah. off of that. Ooh, and didn't get the didn't get the full punish, but still considerable amount of damage. Yeah, and one thing we're seeing VV do a lot is uh, with Hero. Whenever you have people on you, you just up B. It's a good get off mm -hmm. reversal type move, and you know making the the most of that has saved VV a lot of a lot of damage here. I want to say. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you saw you saw them retreating a lot to the uh, uh, small battlefield platforms, and now we have a big middle platform of Hollow Bastion. You're gonna see probably a lot more retreating options in the same way. For sure. You know, nice back air. I couldn't get the read there, unfortunately. Yeah, and yeah, and Peko just sharking the platforms. I love the way he's sharking the platforms. Not really committing oh, to a lot. Whoa, and that, that was the same. That was, a, that was the setup. That was the setup. I, did you see that setup? I didn't see the setup. I, I, I didn't I see it coming at all. Oh, Vivi dies. I don't know what happened. Maybe they didn't have a jump. I What's going got, on? Got, got, think got a little bit spooked. I, listen, I was stunned off of that. I didn't even see the banana come out. Oh, yeah. I'll be so honest. I didn't even see it there. I thought it was Brawl. I thought we just tripped it for no reason. Oh. oh, you're dead off of that. Oh, I'm a liar. Yeah, great DI, great DI. And that move hits hard, too, not to mention it has a vacuum. Large yeah, it's, it's a vacuum. It's a jump scare. It's like a quick time decision, it's right? It's an evil move. <laughs> <laughs> it's an evil move. I'm telling you, it's a jump scare. Just, okay, here, okay, hero up throw while they have oomph or whatever the hell is a jump scare also. <laughs> That's also jump scroll. So you just whoop, and you're in the air and you you're die. Call, you call like, it in Five Nights at Freddy's. Mysterious. <laughs> man. Five, you're five, five Nights in Hero's Arms. Like, uh, I, I'm telling you, we're getting spooked out here. It's not even October yet. It's August. Almost, man. It, it is actually almost. But either way, this game evened up so fast. Oh, yeah. Did not really expect that there. Good extension there for Peko. Oh, great zoom. Banana set up. Don't slip on that, please. Now, if Hero has bounce and Hero walks over that, it's, it's Heroes, right? Yes. Because active. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's that's one thing Peko definitely has to be aware of. I think that's why in game one, Peko decided to throw the banana backwards rather than down. Because if DV approached, that's a free trip. Oh, yeah, 100%. And we won't be seeing you next fall. Dinner plate. Oh, my God. Nice block. Yeah, he went for, he went for the roll read, but I, I feel like he was close enough in distance to actually react to that with the down tilt. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um... Yeah, and BB right now has bounce, and now the banana's off the table again, right? And now this is this is where Peko is going to struggle. He needs to try to get a kill early. Oh, that's what that's what you want. This clutch, time. clutch. <laughs> that was like you, he needed that, right? If he did not get that clutch down tilt on that platform, we probably would have been seeing BB with the same stock and Peko struggling to kill BB. But right now, Peko's in the driver's seat, um, and doing a great job with his survivability. Did you see Monkey Flip getting uh, blocks the neutral B there from here? Oh yeah. But it was it was a level one charge, so it makes sense. And, you know, on occasion, like, uh, what Hero can definitely do is, like, even though you, like, in most situations, I don't see VB ever use V, uh, VB, uh, <laughs> Hero's full charge neutral B, but just by you charging it, mm -hmm. it kind of instills fear in people, because it's similar to, like, you know, if you're just not doing anything in neutral, Hero gets to charge something for free. Yeah. So it means that Peko definitely has to run in and engage, and right now, you're sitting on a fully charged neutral B. Once again, we might not see it, but still, that's another threat that Peko has to think about through all these exchanges. Yeah, because one one lazy forwarder down to the ground with a full with a fully charged neutral B, you're, that's your stop, oh, right? Yeah, you're going for that. Uh-oh. Because oh, right now, they have... Oh, that's what you said earlier. And Sword look, characters. look, and and that's what, uh, that's another thing. You're scared of a B reverse question mark, right? You have Samus charge shot. <laughs> yeah, you, you have you have Samus charge shot, mm -hmm. right? And now, what? Oomph on deck? No, psych up on deck. Excuse me, right? You're just trying to get down and fast pop. And yo, yo, heroes up. To, can we it's here? it's a rainbow, bro. That's, it's a it's, rainbow. It's dinner like, plate. We're it's, eating. It's very literally like diet set broth up. Smash. Yes, look at that! Ah, he's so angry. He's <laughs> so angry. Hero got the face like he knew he was gonna hit that. Oh my god, like, that was, <laughs> that was such a sad set. Like, if, if you really think about it, right, Peko, for the, for the most part, played Bananaless Diddy, 
right? Yeah. Had to, had to, yeah. because of bounce. Yeah, p played and played it well for you know. I would say mo you know most parts, but I say like just the defensive habits, right? Like the air dodging into the ground late percents, like you know. He, and it was weird because in the middle of the, the game one and two, a lot of situate a lot of times where he just monkey flipped off stage to reset the ledge, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes like you just need to reset the ledge, especially hero psych up. Your your banana is not really that much of a factor half the time. Yo, just no. bro, just reset the ledge, man. No, Forget man. It. 